Go ahead. Does the Obama administration consider this an act of war? Uh, we certainly, uh, I'm not going to put new labels on it, uh, James. I would say we certainly consider uh, this act, this reported act, the act of uh, the killing of James Foley as a horrific uh, terrorist act uh, that we certainly uh, have, uh, has, has helped, or has not helped to, I should say, has uh, been a, one of the motivating factors in the effort we, to undergo with the creation of international coalition to address this threat. So now we have on the books two American journalists beheaded by this group. Is there any doubt on your part or the part of this administration that in fact the United States is at war with ISIS? Well, I think I want to be very careful here, um, just that we have not confirmed through the proper processes, and I just need to restate that as a U.S. speaking on behalf of the U.S. government. I know that wasn't your intention. I'm not going to, again, put new labels on it. I think it's clear that we are concerned about the threat uh, of ISIL to uh, Western interests, to interests in the region. Uh, that's why the Secretary, the President, uh, Secretary Hagel, are all going to be uh, working every contact they have to continue to build a coalition to address this threat. Will this event make any difference in our planning vis-a-vis -vis airstrikes against ISIS? There are a range of factors, as you know, uh, that are taken into account, uh, including uh, the interests of the United States, uh, and uh, I'm not going to read out further uh, what the president will be looking at, but certainly we look at a range of factors as those decisions I, are made. I, I just uh, want to try to address this one more. Go ahead. One, one more way. A lot of Americans sit at home and they see Americans who are not even combatants but who are journalists being mm -hmm. beheaded by this group overseas. And from a sort of common sense point of view, the average American will say to himself, this group is at war with us. Why does our president or our secretary of state not recognize that and say, indeed, we are at war with this group and we will destroy them? Well, I think, first of all, James, our actions speak for our commitment to this. And the president has authorized uh, more than 100 strikes uh, in Iraq, uh, as has been confirmed by the Department of Defense. Uh, there are a range of reasons, but part of it is to take on the threat of ISIL. Part of the reason we are leading the effort, and the United States has done more than any country in the world, whether it's humanitarian assistance or other military efforts, uh, to, uh, to take on this threat in Iraq. So I think any American sitting at home uh, should sit and look at the actions that we're taking. I don't think it's a useful exercise to go back and forth about new terms. What's important is what we're doing about it, uh, and the, the president's authorization, uh, what the secretary will be doing over the next couple of weeks, is, is uh, action in that regard.